Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, PC Error Fix. Today, we've got an issue that many Windows PC users encounter, the Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library Error. It can be frustrating, but fear not, because in this video, we're going to explain how to fix it. So, stay tuned. The error is usually caused by software conflicts, which means different programs trying to use the same resources simultaneously. It can also happen due to corrupt system files or even malware infections. So, here have a look at the solutions you need to try. Solution 1, reboot the system in a clean boot state. Solution 2, reinstall the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. Solution 3, update graphics driver. Solution 4, disable the compatibility mode. Solution 5, uninstall and reinstall the problematic app. Now before starting with the detailed steps in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel also ring the bell to get notified when another video lands. Solution 1, reboot the system in a clean boot state. The third party or the startup programs may cause interruption with the Microsoft Visual Runtime Library and cause the error. So performing a clean boot may works for you. Press the Windows plus R key to open the run window. In the run window, type the command msconfig and hit enter. This will open the system configuration window. Go to the services tab checkmark the box next to hide all Microsoft devices and click on disable all. Now click on the startup and click on open task manager. Click on the Startup tab under Task Manager, right-click on the items and click on Disable. Next, go to the Services and click on Apply then on OK. Solution 2, Reinstall the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributables. Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library error occurs due to the missing or corrupted Runtime Library components files. Reinstalling the file may work for you. Open Control Panel and then go to Programs. Locate the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable in the list of programs. Right-click on it and select Uninstall. Confirm the uninstallation process and reboot your system. Now download the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library from the Microsoft website. Click on the .exe file to reinstall the Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library. Reboot your system. Solution 3, Update Graphics Driver. The outdated graphics driver can cause problems with the applications and stop them from running properly. So, let's update the driver and fix the error. Hit the Windows key and type Device Manager. Then, from the list of available drivers, expand the Universal Serial Bus Controllers by double-clicking on them. Right-click on one of the drivers and click on Update Driver. Click on Search Automatically for the Updated Driver Software option. If an updated driver is available, install it and then restart the system. Moreover, you can also update the driver using the Driver Updater tool. This is an advanced tool, that scans your system and updates the entire outdated drivers easily. Download the tool from the link in the description box. Solution 4. Disable the Compatibility Mode The Compatibility Mode feature can sometimes interfere with the program and cause the Microsoft Visual C++ runtime error to occur. First launch the problematic application that is causing the error then right-click on it and choose Properties. Now click on the Compatibility tab and uncheck Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. Click on Apply and then OK to save the changes. Solution 5, Uninstall and Reinstall the Problematic App. If you are seeing the Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime error while running any particular program then uninstall and reinstall the application. Go to Start menu and click on Settings. On the Nest window click on Apps. From the listed app search the problematic app and click on it and click on uninstall and follow the process the uninstall it. 
Now install the particular latest version of the application or game compatible with your system from the official website or Microsoft Store. The Microsoft Visual C++ Runtime Library error may be a bit of a headache, but it's nothing you can't handle. With the right knowledge and steps, you can quickly resolve this issue and get your PC back on track. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and solutions. If you have any questions or want us to cover specific topics, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.